Hello, and thank you for watching the Weekend Box Office Report. I'm your host, Daniel Kay. This is the report for the weekend of August, what again, 10th through 12th, 2018. A uh, terribly, terribly exciting week, and I'm bluffing. It was just another weekend in the summer. Um, coming in at number one in the top ten, and again, we're only covering the new movies here. The old movies are old, and you don't care about them. The Meg from Warner Brothers, about a giant prehistoric shark. Um, it made $45.4 million. Um, this is my second take, by the way, and I tried to um, pronounce Megalodon earlier, and I could not do it. Um, <laughs> It's like Worcestershire. Anyway, that's the Meg for you. Big hit. Not as big in China as they were hoping, but that's another story. Coming in at number four, <laughs> Slender Man from Screen Gems. About a scary, slender guy who just follows you around. He actually doesn't do anything, as far as I know. He's just scary and slender. Um, it made $11.3 million. Ooh. And coming in at number five, Black Klansman, Spike Lee's new joint. Uh, this is from Focus Features. Uh, it only made 10 million, 10.6, I mean, but um, it will probably pick up. I think, um, I think the word of mouth on that is swell. That's what I hear. That's your top 10. Coming in all the way down at the very bottom of the chart, under the tree, from Magnolia. Is it a Magnolia tree? We don't know. Um, we do know this, though. It's on one screen. It played in uh, for six weeks so far, and this week it only made $36, which um, I guess is like six $8 tickets, but nobody charges $8 for tickets. So four $12 tickets? You know something? Uh, it's really kind of amazing that there even is a number for this movie. And coming in at number 80, it's brand new from Synergetic Pictures. It's its premiere. This is the starting point. This is uh, ground zero and can only go up from here. And I mean that literally because The Swan only made $898. So if it goes down, it'll be under the tree before long. There you go. Thank you very much for watching the Weekend Box Office Report. I can't imagine why you do it, but I'm glad you are. We'll be back again next week. Bye-bye for now.